tense moments as police carry out a dramatic drug raid at a townhome in Burlington, Ontario, earlier this month. It was part of eight raids conducted by heavily armed officers with the Provincial Police's organized crime unit, dubbed Project Daytona. Project Daytona has not been a typical organized crime investigation. Twelve people charged with 81 offenses. That's the end result of a nine-month-long investigation by the Ontario Provincial Police. Millions of dollars worth of drugs taken off the streets. 8.5 kilograms of cocaine, 9 kilograms of methamphetamine, 4 kilograms of MDMA ecstasy, more than 100 pounds of cannabis, 8.5 kilograms of cannabis concentrates, and around $30,000 in Canadian currency. Rather than targeting crime organizations, Project Daytona sought out high-level criminals without affiliation. What police found was shocking. The quality of the drugs that you're seeing here, particularly the cocaine and the methamphetamine, is like uh, we've never really seen before, and I think it's because we're operating on such a high level. The accused come from across Ontario and one person from Gatineau, Quebec. Police say the cannabis obtained during the project is a sign that the illegal market is still thriving despite legalization. They say the operation was a devastating blow to the drug industry. Project Daytona has destabilized these drug trafficking networks and there will be a radiating effect experienced by the criminals who relied on these key facilitators. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.